back when I was a kid, I was always told I should trust people more. And I was always told that certain people are good people. And I was always told that I should just go with the flow and everything will be okay. And I'm wondering how these days people growing up RH negative feel about their lives. How is it different? It's probably maybe better. I think actually that they are able to use every movement, every neurosis to their advantage, where they are able to navigate through all of that. And if you are older, you may not be able to see that. Or you don't recognize that uh, growing up into insanity doesn't mean you become insane. Because if your intuition shows you the way you will be able to navigate and that's it it doesn't make a difference what you are really seeing with your eyes because it's not about the eyes it's all about what you're getting from your senses it doesn't make a difference if somebody comes along and tells you uh, you're using the wrong pronoun or something like that it's really not about that because there's a certain energy that you have if people come to you and talk crazy you are likely giving a look with your piercing arch negative eyes that shuts them up already and that's why it's so important to not allow ourselves to stick around when there are complaining sessions happening because a lot of these people have the complaining sessions and complain about things and issues that you don't yourself have. You are in the same situation like them, more or less. You are confronted with the same insanities. You are among the same type of crowd but you are laughing on the inside. You are confronted with all of that. And what's happening? The people around you who don't agree or like it, they talk about these crazy people, this generation, blah, 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 blah and I can't, and the weakness, their inner weakness needs to connect. They are unable to be because they are always in need of a herd around them. They want to go into the center where they're protected from the wolves and they're cowards because the moment they come together with others, you can be their best friend, but all of a sudden, somebody points out something you do wrong and they have a very hard time standing up for you. It's weird, but it is like that. And these are the people who complain the most. They want to see you share their unhappiness with the situation but you're laughing on the inside because life is so crazy. 
you sit there and see all the people argue, getting all worked up. As a child, that was my state of mind. I remember many situations where I had to shut up. I could not allow people to see what I was feeling because they would have been angry at me. Their aggression would have gone towards me because had they been able to read my mind, I think you are an idiot is what they would have read. So it's good if they attack each other and unfortunately you have to be somewhere invisible or semi-visible or disguised by a look that projects boredom rather than a really cheap form of glee because you don't know what to do but it helps you it helps you understand the true mindsets and of course the one thing that is the big difference when it comes to uh, generational observations you let's assume you're under 20 and according to my youtube statistics 13 percent of you are i think under 25 was it that so let's say under 25 okay which is a shame that uh it is a small number so when you look at people who are older you don't see what they were like 30 years ago or 40 years ago you don't see that however i see that because i know people i have known back then and how they come off now and how people are in awe of them and look at them like they are great people but i know how they are I know them. They have learned to cover that. They have learned to grow into a position. And it's a lot easier to put on a persona associated with the position you're already in once you got it. And the persona depends on that position. Position. That's why people, a lot of people crumble when they lose it. Not because of the lack of money necessarily, even though that's a, usually a big part of it but just that they have no more anything. Basically, they don't connect anymore. People are asked professional opinions, but then they go into tangents and talk about things that have not much to do with it. Because you know what? They want to share. They feel like I am now having an audience. Now I need to share the things that are truly on my mind because before I couldn't and before I was too much of a coward to even bring up certain subject matters. And now you are forced to listen to me. So be careful whom you lend your ear. Be very careful about that because it has to be a give and take. Otherwise you will take or give whichever one may you will lose your energy and gain nothing back and that's dangerous it's very dangerous when the void is growing that's why a lot of people lose themselves that's why a lot of people anticipating being in that same position but not getting there crumble this position wasn't what they were craving to begin with but it became the carrot and all of a sudden another donkey comes by and eats a carrot and then it's gone